All new at 10, the Charlotte Mecklenburg School District says its latest move is part of an all hands on deck approach to deal with the recent uptick in violence at CMS schools. Fox 46's Will Lewis explains tonight what the district plans to do to protect students. In a letter to parents, CMS Superintendent Ernest Winston says the tragic shooting in Michigan is disturbing and hits close to home as we see increased fights in schools and more guns on our campuses. I can't even believe that that safety at schools has become something that's such an issue these days. Just this week, there was a gun found in a backpack of a student at Harding High School. A fight broke out at Chambers High School. And according to CMPD, a fight at Harding High led to a person using pepper spray, but the school saying there were no life-threatening injuries. It's scary. It's not what you want your school experience to be. I I never had that when I was going to school. These are not the only incidents drawing criticism of the district. Winston writes, the district is looking at possible short and long-term solutions. One measure will be having high school students carry clear backpacks. CMS has ordered them, but the delivery is delayed until February 2022. I know some people have, may have a different opinion as far as the privacy or whatever, but I think that kind of comes along with the turf when you're dealing with trying to get something like that under control. CMS is also establishing a tool for middle school and high school students to report anonymously, even though the district hasn't clarified reporting what. Winston writes, they have also doubled the number of random safety screenings at secondary schools. Where we're at in the world right now is a little bit scary. And if it protects people and students and children, is it a bad thing? The district is also looking at more community programs. And the letter says there is still more work to do. The letter also notes the district has spoke with companies regarding metal detectors to determine the next steps and says addressing this crisis is a top priority. Will Lewis, Fox 46.